We would have, uh, uh, on all, all honesty, uh, I think uh, you guys would agree, we'd, uh, we'd take any type of win here um, in Marseille, first game on a Friday night to kick off the, the Six Nations, but um, yeah, so I suppose uh, the, the more uh, the, the game was going on, uh, the more that you, you saw a, a, a performance building and um, I thought we got exactly what we deserved in the end. What impressed you? What impressed you most? And I guess we get one area you are really impressed with. Um, as a team, certainly our, our composure because it wasn't all singing, all dancing. Then you know, French side that's always going to uh, pose questions, and the, the crowd is always going to uh, get behind them at times. But we we managed to silent them uh, quite a lot through good composure with how we how we play the game. Uh, I suppose the, the main thing for me would have been uh, our ability to just stay on it for the full 80 minutes and keep attacking the game. I think um, uh, when you're playing against 14 men for a, a long period sometimes, uh, you, subconsciously you tend to shut up shop a little bit more. I thought we, our intent was, was pretty good and we was pretty ruthless when we, when we needed to be. And then obviously on top of that, I thought our line out in attack and defence was, was outstanding. Steve. Uh, hi Andy. Hi. Uh, congratulations, tremendous performance um, to a man. But how pleased were you with the young players' performances who came into the squad and delivered for you in such an impressive style tonight? Well, obviously delighted for them, but um, uh, it, it, it's not something that, that surprises us as a group because these. these um, these lads have been involved in, in and around the group for, for, for a number of years, you know, so they've been, some's been waiting for the chance, some's playing so well that you can't keep them out of the squad, so, uh, you know, the, the best thing about this team at this moment in time is that exactly that, it's a team, and uh, we, we all pull in the right direction, so therefore it doesn't really matter whether you're Pete touching 42, 43, or, or your uh, young, uh, young Joe McCarthy, who's... Um, uh, a young book trying to make his way. He's, um, everyone's in the same boat. We're pulling in the, in the same direction, so it doesn't surprise me that those uh, those young guys that you're talking about, or the inexperienced guys that you're talking about, um, have performed because uh, they, they they tend to feel comfortable in their own skin within within the environment. Thanks, Neil Tracy. Hi, Andy. How impressed were you with the the reaction to? Conceding the second try in particular, where obviously you lost Pete to the bin as well, but you came back up, and by the time Pete had come back on, you got that last try or the, the fourth try and turned seven points into 14 again and just kept them at arm's length. It's something, as, you, as you've heard us talking about uh, over the last couple of years, something that we, we, we continue to work hard on and um, making sure that we don't get too ahead of ourselves or we don't get too down on ourselves. Um, I thought we was excellent in, in that regard, albeit um, probably a 10 minute period before half time where you know, there was a, a knock on effect from a couple of penalties that were given away and um, we, we lost our, our, our way a little bit, start of the second half, whether it was our fault or not in regards to a couple of penalties that didn't go, didn't go our way, it was a five or six minute period but all in all I thought we was really really good um, even the players talked about at half time and after the match the, that the composure uh, was, was was great um, and able to get on to get on to the next next moment and, and, and keep on building our game so I don't think uh, we became two faced albeit it wasn't perfect so last couple of questions in this section Kieran and then Key and Tracy live section um, I think it comes back to again. He he had some great moments in the game, and then you know the moments that you need to get rid of. He did that. You know what I mean? Moved on from you know he had a penalty in the second half. Uh, you know, just got on with the game and and continue continue to get better and better and. Um, you know that's something we have to hang our hat on at the moment, and and you know you saw it from from young guys and old guys alike. Um, you know just 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 playing the game, and 
I thought he was outstanding tonight. Thanks. Keen Tracy and then Derek and then we'll close off this section. You're going to have to wear Derek. He's, he's, he's uh, itching now. Uh, Keen, congrats. Uh, in terms of wins that you've had in your career, where does that rank Captain Ireland to you? I don't think it gets any better, really. Um, you know, the, the stress of the last couple of days, I'd have given the whole lot up for a win tonight away from home. First game up Friday night in Marseille in, in the Velodrome. I'd have been a happy man packing the whole lot in today, tomorrow morning if, if you'd given me the chance to, to take a win. And, um, you know, Are you trying to say something? No. Are you going to pack it all in? No, I'm not. Um, no, it has to be right up there, you know. I think it's, like I said inside, it was the biggest margin that we've beaten France by, you know. Uh, I remember as a young fella, you know, watching Irish teams and you'd be hoping you'd, you'd hang on in there, you know what I mean? Whereas, you know, it's a different animal now. Thanks, Derek. Can you help us put uh, Jack Pony's performance into perspective? Because he had to keep coming back to the well all the time, wasn't all going right from what oh, I Exactly that, was, and that. He, typifies exactly what we're talking about. I mean, um, the, the, there's no doubt that uh, a young kid who um, uh, played in, in, in a position like Jackie is at 10 with the responsibility of that, but then obviously all week, um, I'm rightly so, everyone's talking about how we're gonna deal with uh, um, not not having Johnny at the elm, etc. and Jack's gonna be the one that, that has the first shot of filling the shoes. It definitely creeps in. I mean, everyone, you'd be a liar if you, if you say you didn't, but um, he, he, he gains his strength from, from um, knowing that his teammates are prepared and, and, and there to help. And, and, and um, I thought his composure at the line was great. Uh, uh, he made some really nice decisions and some poor ones at that um, as well. And he'll know that more than, more than anyone else. Uh, I thought, I mean, the strength of character in regarding his, his goal kicking when he missed the one in front, of it, albeit uh, from a, a longer distance, but then to uh, knock them over from, from, from the sideline too on the trot from the sideline was shows immense character really, so um, it's a good start for him, it's a, it's a good start, it's a good start for us as a team and uh, hopefully we, he'll get better and we'll uh, benefit from that as well.